All right, out here in the garage, the big semi truck just delivered these six Life Power 4 EG4 lithium batteries and rack system. They were on a pallet, and thankfully I had some help to get them off the pallet. There's three boxes that I managed to destroy, and I kept three boxes. There's the unit right there, which I had help putting these 100 pound batteries on the rack system. Save three boxes, and there's the actual door I had to take off. <sighs> so the whole goal is to replace the four kilovolt batteries down here with these guys. These are 48 volt batteries each. They're going to be in parallel, and then it's going to be wired into my system. And that's the goal. Now here's some, well, before we get into installation, Let's take a look at the uh, the rack itself, which is an absolute beast, I might add. This is a spare box with all the cables and doodads and knickknacks and paddy wax, communication cables, paralleling cable cables for the bus bars, yakety schmackety. The one thing with this rack is that the casters, check this out, it's something different. <coughs> These are kind of interesting casters. They're, the wheels are actually kind of small, as you can see. Right here. But the actual caster itself is pretty damn stout. And that red knob right there is what you do is you lock it down once you get the thing set in place. But if you're rolling it around, I mean, those aren't, what, two inch, three inch cast, not even two inches, about two inch casters. I mean, this thing isn't really designed to be rolled around so keep that in mind if you're moving or whatever um, but it, they're heavy duty enough once you get it in place it'll not slide around which is a good thing you don't have to go down there and lock them but I'm not so sure about these casters but they look all right so the batteries are turned on right now and I just did an initial check with the fluke multimeter DC volts and they are all within three one thousandths of a volt. See there? They're all showing three bars, which is good. But the one thing before we get into installation is that some guys I see on YouTube comes with a cable channel similar to that. This one didn't come with them. See there? It has all the mounting points to parallel it into the bus bar, but where do you put the big fat four hot cable? I mean, do you put it on here? Do you put it on the standoff? Um, so I'm a little bit confused on how that is supposed to go. But I'll figure it out. If you have any suggestions or have done this, let me know. And some people put the positive four hot cable going to your system on the top here and the negative down there, I may still do that, but I don't have enough 4 hot cable to do that right now. Right now, it's just <sighs> taking a breather. I'm a little bit out of breath here, so. But these are heavy cusses. <laughs> I still got to screw them in, which is the next step. Um, is the screws are included with there, but there's no manual. Um, the door just comes on and off, and the back door actually... You can unscrew it and get to the back, but there's nothing on the back for for that. Now here's the here's the uh, the dilemma. I'm sitting on my little roll around stool here. Look how tall it is compared to my system here. The question is, where do I put it? Do I put it right here or do I put it over here? If I put it over here, I've got that light switch right there. You see, it's going to get in the way kind of sort of um, move it over this way but but it should fit in between these two table stones. I still want to have a little work area right here um, like a table this is all going to get ripped out the battery box the batteries this table it's all going to get ripped out so just imagine it's a blank wall right there um, but I don't want to I don't know, I'm just going to have to figure it out where I'm going to put this thing. And option B, 
which I am considering, but not 100% sure, is I've got a closet right back here where the water heater is that I could possibly just roll this thing into the closet right there. But I got the water heater. Let me open this up a little bit more. The water heater's right there, which of course makes a lot of heat and gas. But it is ventilated. And I could drill a hole through the wall where the dryer is right there and uh, suck some cold air from the house in to help cool it. But I'm not sure if that's even legal <laughs> or smart. But that's that's option B. But I could just roll this thing right in there. It'll fit just fine in there. And there's the backside right there. <clears throat> but it's about I don't know, 100, probably about 700 pounds total, and it rolls around pretty easily. To be honest with you, no issues there. So there you have it. Um, it's going to be a while before I get this commissioned. <laughs> To be honest with you and on thursday uh they're going to deliver six more q cell panels to finish the north array so i'll have all q cell panels in the backyard cranking power and i would like to get this done before thursday but man i don't know if i'm gonna we'll see we'll see at least i i'm pretty good with the uh, the voltages you know once i plug it in start charging this should all come up evenly Especially, what I really like is that you can shut these suckers off right here. See here? Turn, turn off all the batteries. Got to being, and they have little plastic covers that go on here, which is really sexy. Um, so the batteries are off right now. So that's where I'm at. And I would really appreciate any insight or suggestions that you might have. With these batteries they're heavy cusses but uh yeah it's looking good so far all right thanks for watching see ya